Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And I post new Star Stable videos every single day. Make sure you have notifications on for that. And today is super exciting, besties. Uh, when I tell you Star Stable just released a blog with all of the upcoming updates, everything that they're working on and stuff like that, they just did that. So we are going to be looking through it and I have already seen some stuff, which is very exciting in my opinion. They have the character process, how some of the current clothes look on the character, and if you'll have to pay for your character upgrade or if it's going to be free and stuff like that. So let's just get right into the video then. Let's go. Okay, as always, I will have Star Stable Entertainment site linked in the description, but basically we can go ahead and go to the game blog for January. Okay, so this is really- why is it so big? It's 300! Okay, I was about to say, okay. Game Game blog January, introducing our new monthly game. Okay, you know what? We're skipping that. Featuring behind the scenes updates, insights, and upcoming additions to your favorite horse game, Star Stable Online. Straight from the amazing team behind the magic, this month, Oscar Carlson, art director, will share some of the work behind the updated Marley's. Jane Skullman, our amazing executive producer, will walk you through the latest tech improvements, followed by Maria Cecilia Jacques, producer, and her exciting new update on the new player project. So I will have this all in chapters so you can like skip to which part you want to talk about. But we are going to start with the Marley's farm and this is basically some of the behind the scenes which as you see there's some beautiful textures. Look at that. Wow pink, brown, yellow, red, and green. Woo. Okay. Marley's farm. As the game grows we wish to provide you with an immersive world that you want to spend time in and keep coming back to. By raising the quality of our graphical assets and how they are implemented and how the engine uses them to to improve optimization, all with our art style, we aim to enhance your experience while you're in the game. I've definitely been seeing a lot of like additional things like secret updates in Star Stable with graphics and stuff like that. Like with the Marley's race, they added that little, little overarching thing. Now it's like everywhere. I see that new overarching thing at Fir Grove, Starshine, um, what's it called? Ghouls and Leaf. It's literally everywhere. It is not just a matter of visual improvements, but also how the game runs on your computer device. When we're working on revamping an existing area, we also put a lot of thought into creating a better experience with less frustration when navigating the world and going from one place to another. For example, those of you who've been playing for a while might recall a time when you were not allowed to jump with your horse when you were inside the old walls of Silverglade. I do remember that and Yarlaheim and like every city. With those walls in place, it meant there were only a few points where you were only able to exit the village. During the previous year, the team has done a great work on Silverglade Village and Steve's farm with the surrounding area. Still, one small location remained in order to wrap up the central part of Silverglade, Marley's farm. One big technical change in the engine that allowed to deliver these improvements to is gradient maps. Gradient maps allow us to create more variations of the same texture without adding any more strain on your device. One of our artists created an image to show what the difference it makes. Without gradient maps, we needed to have 74 textures loaded into memory to achieve the amount of variation we have in Silver Glade. Oh my, okay, this is definitely helpful. I think they're going to work on the app as well because this would, if these were all separate things that you had to download into your phone, the game would like just take up your whole entire phone. But I'm really happy they're doing this. But with gradient maps, we only need to load 15 textures and then create the colors within the engine itself instead of an external program like Photoshop. Oh, so they just recolor it. Beautiful, beautiful. The gradient map is sometimes, oh, something we have been able to use while working with assets in the environment, but the development of the technique has been room, okay. I cannot English. Another of the challenges we, another of the challenges. Another of the cha- Another one of the challenges we face when working with an existing- Another of the challenges- Okay, my English, I cannot read! What? What does it mean? We face when working with an existing location in the world is the fact that we can't just move everything around as we would like. We always have to need to make sure that our pre-existing content continues to work for you. When doing a big revamp, as for Silverglade Village or Steve's Farm, it's a big undertaking from the content and the QA team to make sure the new content works with the old content 
content, which means digging through 10 years of previous content at times. Otherwise, we would have things floating in the air or quest givers hidden inside of houses, which sometimes still sneak by us. So thank you for your reports. Oh, I thought that meant sometimes we hide them inside houses so you besties can't access them. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a glitch if that happens, okay? Because I was like, oh, is there like secret quests we're missing? For Marley's Farm, we took the opportunity to remove some of the Western theme that was there. And instead, we tried to align what you see the man living there. In this case, Marley, and he likes potatoes. Lovely picture. Creating a technical foundation for the future. Besides the revamp of Marley's Farm, we also want to share some improvements we do to our game tech. Some of the major updates last year included moving from 32 bits to 64. Whoa, that is that is like a huge improvement, the water shader there. Updating to version 17 of our programming language C++ and porting our editor to a more modern UI and framework named Qt. Cutie! <laughs> In-house, we call it the Qt Editor as it allow our users, artists, and game designers to work more efficiently. Qt Editor, cutie! Oh, that's such a cute name! On the graphical side, we implemented simply gone simply gone simply got it's simply gone away a third party software that helps us to optimize the game content we added a gradient map shader that we used in marley's farm and silverglade village as explained above and a new water shader beyond that we can now give you a better looking game with these improvements simply gone is also crucial bye bye it's it, okay basically just it won't crash oh wait no it will crash because yeah but <laughs> This is what the water shader looks like, and I just want to say, definitely a huge improvement. I don't know if you guys could tell, but there's like a lot more detail in the surrounding area here as here, so that is some sneaky little updates. What? A random smiley face. I love it. One of the first major improvements we're going for 2022 is adding more databases in Europe. The reason for doing this challenging improvement is to give you more stable experience with less lag. Instead of having only one game database in Europe, we will have more than 10 which basically means we can handle more players online at the same time and also more activity from each server without you experiencing some disturbances when you play. This will also allow us to add more platforms in the future, and one of those platforms is mobile. Smiley face. I am actually really excited for mobile and I've been waiting like a year or two. It's been a while, so I am very excited for it and I can't wait for Star Stable to come to mobile. I haven't even like checked it out yet. I, I'm just waiting. So rolling out more game databases beginning with Denmark is a vital step to be able to offer you to play Star Stable in Europe. iOS only for now, but we have our eyes set on Android in the future. In order to handle all these new game databases, we also rewrote and modernized some of the backend services related to your character. When these backend services were released, we had and are still experiencing some hiccups. A lot of you have experienced the weird message to create a character when you already had one. I heard of this glitch. I heard of that. We are super sorry for this. We didn't mean to scare or annoy you. The team is working incredibly hard and in shifts and in shifts in order to fix this hit. My English left the chat. <clears throat> The majority of the issues are gone, and we will, of course, continue to work on it until it is solved completely. So it does look like they were doing a lot of behind-the-work content with, like, implementing all of these new programs into Star Stable that previously weren't there, and also making it work with the current stuff. Alright, the most fun part, besties. Not that the other stuff wasn't fun, but player character update. Oh, you already see it. You already see it. Okay, okay. No spoilers. No spoilers. I'm reading it first. Calm down. We really want to keep all you up to date on our progress on the new character. So from now on, we will post updates about it every month. So it's going to be multiple months apparently since we're getting it, but we will be getting it eventually. We're really excited by the progress we've made so far and can't wait to show you more about it. As said previously, the research phase was longer and more complicated than planned. We must deal with 10 years of content to build a better character with more options while keeping game performance impact as low as possible. Here are some technical challenges we have now overcome. Making different body shapes fit on every horse. Oh, adapting clothes to body shapes and improving the render on skin color. Dating is often trickier than creating a new, which gives us an excellent opportunity to learn something new. 
new. Stay positive, right? The approach we are taking in designing this new character will allow us to update it more easily from a technical point of view. We aren't just planning to release it, we're crafting it so that more options and features can potentially be implemented in the future. What, like, features would be able to add to the- oh, This looks so cool. I'm like, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Buckle down. Buckle, buckle up. Um, because uh, there are so many things we want to add, first we're focusing on diversity and inclusivity as we want to celebrate how unique each and every one of our players are. That is amazing. That is like my favorite part about it because there's like five faces you could choose from in Star Stable with one body type. Not a very inclusive, um, but you know, it's it's working. Look, this looks amazing so far. Okay. Also, to answer some of your worries, no paid transition will be required to update the character. It will be applied to new and all players for free, so do not worry about paying or upgrading your character besties. It is said here, you will not need to pay. It is already done for you. Besides, we're doing our best to minimize the impact on previous purchases, such as hairstyles and clothes. Are they updating all the crusty hairstyles or like what will happen? into those will we get reimbursed or will like my character just have a crusty hair no we're happy to show you another work in progress picture it's far from final and numerous changes may happen stay tuned for next week's blog next month's blog but as you can see this definitely looks like it's taking a lot of work but compared to the little like tidbit we saw last time in the character update by the way linked in the corner if you want to check that out but it looks like star stable has come a long way test body with clothes test i mean look at how beautiful the new style is i love it and especially the like different body shapes and stuff like that i am super excited for that as well and uh yeah this is what it looks like so far i know these are clothes we have in game because i have that exact same t-shirt in game and it looks like they are fitting really well on this character model so far as well which is also really exciting it looks like it'll take a few months but other than that that is some more updated character snippets bye everyone thank you so much for watching this star stable video as always please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already as i post new star stable videos every single day so make sure you have notifications on for that and also i live stream every now and then now oh all right anyways but basically i hope you enjoyed this little spoiler slash update video on where star stable's at with a lot of things marley's farm introduction of shaders into the game and graphics and also the character update let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and uh yeah bye Thank you.